Well, let's never speak about what we saw in Pluto. Ever again. Ever. Because we're going to the sun, my friends. The sun is a mass of super... Oh, I already screwed it up. Never mind. Oh, it's orange. Of course it's orange. Well, yellow. Oh, it's like a desert. Oh, everybody's tan! Everybody is a sun person! And they're all they congregating on me. A little creepy, actually. Everyone is a sun man, and they have a tan. Woo! Look at that blazing ball of fire. Oh, my. <laughs> he, he's got a wicked tan. The sun dude. He's got a super tan. It's perfect. This, this reminds me so much of Larry the Lobster from Spongebob. Like, he would love this place. He would just, you know, get swole. Swole lobster friend. And with Texas music. Alright, let's see what else the sun has to offer. More desert, I guess. I guess it's supposed to be beach. What are they shooting? They're buff! The robots are buff. Of course they're buff and they're shooting like oil. Like body massage oil. Body massage. Body massage machine, go! Aw, oh, I can't eat her. There's the face on the floppy dingus that is this tree. Look at this dingus, it is so floppy. Oh, we got IGN says why. <gasps> no, it's one of those! Holy shit, I thought he left you on Pluto! Oh my god! Okay. That didn't happen. We didn't see that. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't look at the- don't look at- don't look at it. It's like those things from that- that- the, the, the Dr. Science Man show. You know the one. The British one? Mr. Dr. Science Man with the screwdriver from hell? You know the one. Yeah, it's like that. It's like the, um... You know, the peeping crangels, I believe it is. Yeah, it's like those. Oh, it's Mr. Moon Man. I'm gonna eat you. Oot. <laughs> I just ate him and pooped him into the abyss. It's, uh, if there's a more disrespectful act on this planet, I certainly don't know it. <laughs> They're shooting oils at each other. This is this is how all wars will be fought in the future. Oh, the, the darker one lost. He's He's off course. Oh, he's gonna correct him. He's gonna he's gonna correct himself. Oh no, that's just that's just kind of some momentum issues. All right, well, let's push this guy into the ravine. Can I eat his legs? I can eat his legs. Woo! Look at him dance. Damn, he's got moves. He has what one might say the moves are. Oh, I, I shat his head out, and then yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I love these physics sometimes. Like, wow. Sun is a pretty chill place. Well, not in the literal sense, but you know what I mean. Wait, is there an upside down face on this tree that has, you know, the opposite? Like, this inverse palm tree. Are there palm trees that, like, do this? Like, I don't think they could. Everybody's got a great, you know, super tan bod with thick muscles. Aw, oh, yes. Nope, you're not there. Get get out of no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. No. Thank God. Okay, we're safe. We left you on Pluto for a reason. This is what Hal was trying to prevent in 2001: A Space Odyssey. He he knew that if mankind achieved space travel, that would happen to him. He was doing us a favor. Oh my God, they're normal. They're normal. Look at his normal face. His beautiful, normal face. Look at that. I could kiss him. I'm gonna kiss him. With my mouth. And, you know... Yeah. These wonderful physics. Sometimes they're just truly a sight to behold. Oh, and once you cling on, it starts acting like normal physics. These physics are so good. I love them. Oh, there's IGN. Loves, loves the sun. I, I I guess it's a dinosaur. It's got like a it's got a leaf. Oh my god! It's got it's got the sun mantle thing. Or I guess it's a mane. But yeah, it's got the sun thing. I got some nice bronze bods on display. 
My goodness. Oh my. I'm so glad. I'm so glad the Pluto people are just dead. Just, they're gone now. They, they're dead, okay? They're not just out of sight, they're actually dead. You know, just, just coming to this land killed them. Boot. We have some nice drums to celebrate their death. What is this? What is this? Is this like Lady Justice but the sun? Oh my gosh, it's rotating. It's rotating under its own power. It is... It is, it is beautiful. Look at its beautiful face. I could just smooch. I'm gonna smooch it. I'm, I'm smooching it. Mm. Smooch that beautiful face. It's freaking Lady Justice, but but with the sun. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's, he's throwing around his swole body. <sighs> the sun. Much better than that terrible place, Paluto. Though, it, it was fine until the real humans appeared. The real humans make anything terrifying. You, you could put those things in literally anything and ruined it. Put it in your favorite anything of any medium and it would it would be ruined. Uh, so this one looks more like a desert. It's got some pineapples. Look at the tiny man. I'm gonna eat the tiny man. Hello, friend. E eat you. Boot. I love that delayed pooping action. What a great game. Basically the same as the last area. Oh, what's this? Falls onto your Katamari. What's this? I notice your boy. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> I love these guys just shooting. Hot oils. Grease me up, woman! I can't really do. Groundskeeper Willy voice. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot to finish this thought, but yeah, this is just such a chill game, and sometimes I need like a chill or a grindy game to play before bed. Like it, it, it kind of tires me out, but it's like it's not a bad thing. It just helps me relax and keeps me at a lower energy level in a good way, and you know, just lets me relax. Sometimes, you, sometimes you want to chill, and it's kind of hard to find a game that'll let you chill. Okay, the sun is a little plain, isn't it? I like the rainbows, but we're getting some less. We're getting less diversity than the other places. Though honestly, honestly when they made this game, they had to know these planets might never appear. And I don't believe this game ever got patched like content, like there is a server that checks whether how like how much length we've gathered, but I'm pretty sure all of this content was in here like from day one. The letter that was written was written in 2009 I believe this came out. Um, at least in the, in the US, but yeah, it was written like way back when, like it was written before the game came out. And all of this stuff was in there, and that's, that's the kind of amazing thing about this game. There's so much stuff in this game that was made day, you know, it, it was in here from day one. But we couldn't get it until we, you know, put in the communal effort to, you know, just play it, stretch, you know, contribute our goal towards the common goal. And you know, as silly as it is, but, you know, there's all of this amazing stuff that was unlocked that was locked in here. And we did it. We unlocked it. And to me, it's like the real promise of like that curiosity what's inside the cube thing. Like it's a non like marketing stunt. It's just this really cool thing that we as a group actually did. It seems like a chill place. Lots of nice things. <gasps> It's a robber! It's a freaking rabbit robber! The rabbiter? I'm eating. Oh, they're all criminals! This is Australia, isn't it? That would explain that would explain the heat and the criminals. <laughs> if you're not aware, that's not me being racist. Is that I mean that's somewhere in our bigoted, but no, it's Australia was started as a British uh P 
penal colony sort of thing. Which, how cruel do you have to be to start, like, a prison, like, on the other side of the frickin' planet? Like, what, 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 what? Like, the, the British Empire had exactly zero chill. Oh, look at this dude! He's got freaking he's got those CDs for ears! What a good dude, I'm gonna eat him. Oh, I can't. Whatever. I love that guy going around on the sandal. I'm not yawning because the game is boring, it's just, it's a very chill game, and it's like, yeah, it's almost 1am, it's, uh, I was a little too high energy after some other stuff, and, uh, need to take it down. I also, I tend to take melatonin, if you don't, if you have, like, sleep schedule issues, or, like, just trouble sleeping in general, I strongly recommend melatonin, it's very cheap, it's a naturally produced chemical in your body, it's just this protein that tends to, you know, it regulates sleep cycles. It's, you know, it's not going to affect other stuff. It's not, uh, you know, it's not like taking, like, barbiturates or anything. It's, uh, very healthy and natural to me doesn't matter, but it is a natural thing, uh, if it matters to you. You know, science is what really matters, period, but, uh, it works both ways. I actually did my, one of my essays in, uh, my, my final essay in my, uh, was it developmental? No, it was, um, Abnormal Psych was actually, you know, I was self-diagnosing, like, looking for stuff on delayed sleep voice syndrome, which I had in college, which was extremely unpleasant. Anyway, if you have sleep troubles in general, uh, you can get, like, for five bucks, you can get, like, 300 tablets of melatonin. Uh, it's a slight exaggeration, but I mean, you can get a lot for very little. And, um... You just take it, and maybe an hour, maybe two hours before bedtime, you'll start to be more drowsy. You know, it, the, it's the point is to get drowsy. Uh, it's not like a NyQuil kind of drowsy. It's just it's a more natural one because I mean, it really just is the chemical that makes your body feel oh, it's nighttime, I should sleep. Um, but it does it bring it brings the onset of sleep forward a bit, and you, what you do usually is you take it regularly, like every night. Uh, some people, like, take a bunch of it at once, and I guess they get, like, weird dreams. Uh, it doesn't really affect my dreams either way, but, oh god, that face, never mind. That's, that doesn't, that's not there. Um, we got the Lion King, literally. Um, but if you got sleep problems, I strongly recommend melatonin. Oh, rip me off. Rip me, rip me in half. Not in a sexual way, just, oh, I got the bananas. Oh man, this is getting very saucy. Oh, I got the umbrella, if you know what I mean. I don't even, I don't even know. Oh, 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 I just grabbed this guy by the crotch. Why, why is everything so sexual tonight? Oh my, I'm gonna get in trouble. Woo. I'm not even attached to the thing. Like, I'm 20 feet out from the, um, the, uh, fan at this point. It's not gonna let me split, is it? Maybe, maybe if I was, like, split out like this, maybe? I just want to get cut in half, my friend. Is this really too much to ask? L like I said, even if you're trying, it's a little hard to get cut in half. Oh, look how freaking thick this dude is. Look at that. Oh, I'm, my head is big now. Look at him, the king of the beach. With an actual beach ball for a crotch. Ooh, look, look at this. Is this vaporwave? Look at this house. This house is aesthetic. Oh, look at freaking houses flying from the sky. I want wallpaper that does this. It would probably drive me insane after the first five minutes. But those first five minutes, nice. Nice. Oh, it's freaking, it's actual God. Again. I just realized his body is an egg. Is this, is this Dr. Robotnik? Look at his perfect legs. His beautiful, his head. He has a bear head? Is that a bear? No, it's a... It's like a moon man. He, he's doing the, th the thing dogs do and they just write their butt on the floor. Okay, I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't believe in God anymore. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, it's the, uh, the uncontrollable... Uh, not the... It's the thing from Earthbound. The triangle head thing. I think there's a carefree bomb, I think. I should play that again, maybe on stream or something. 
But I mean, uh, the thing about doing a live stream for like, I'd have to stream like every day for a week to play something like Earthbound in like a reasonable amount of time. Otherwise, it would take like months. Anyway, oh, we have flying umbrellas. Oh, they're life preserver umbrellas. Wow. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this thing. What are you? What is this? Is this? It's an axolotl. Oh my gosh. It's it's an axolotl. Um, that is so perfect. This is the thing. This is this is a real mudkip. Like mudkip is just you know it's just an axolotl that's like a little cuter. Like all all of the weird Pokemon tend to be based on like a fairly equally weird real thing. Like axolotls look weirder than mudkips. Like they have like these weird branchy things. Like they have like they end in like fifty thousand different terminals. Like this, this looks so weird. All right, one more one more sun vacation land. It's like Papa. Like moon snowman there dances us off. Drum roll, please. Yeah, the sun is a bit samey, I gotta say. Whoa, speaking of samey, oh, it's just a thousand beach shells. Oh my gosh, they have the pearls. The pearls have faces, and they they clatter. Okay, I'm so glad I did just one more. We would be so rich if this was Animal Crossing. Look at the starfish, man. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I love how my reaction in this game is to just eat everything. Like, I don't even get any benefit whatsoever from eating things, but I still want to do it. It's, this is kind of the, the great thing about this game. Everything you do, you just do because it's fun. You don't have to be like, oh, you know, I gotta maximize my, my, my actions per second by, you know, double-clicking the space bar and, you know, shoving my, you know, uh, enter key up my anus and, uh... Oh my god, that face. That didn't happen. Um, but yeah. Cool stuff. And it, it, these things remind me of Pikmin, actually. This game reminds me a lot of a lot of other games, and it makes me want to play those games. And that, that's kind of, that's kind of great, actually. Let's take, let's, let's, let's take one, one, one more. Just, just one more hit. Mr. Mr. Chipmunk Man. The clouds are also suns, I just noticed that. They do a lot of cute references to the sun, but it does feel a little flat compared to some of the other ones. The Pluto, Pluto was the flat one, I should say, but haha. Uh -huh. Jokes. This is just beach ball land. And we have yet another monstrous king of the beach here. Alright, well, tune in next time for, where is it? Is it... I guess it's Mercury, isn't it? But yeah, next time we'll go to another planet. Hopefully a teeny bit more variety, but uh, the sun was still pretty cool. I mean, it was also kind of the opposite of cool, but you know what I mean. <laughs>